I'm frequently asked about which microphone I recommend for typical stuff like this, Zoom calls, you know, Facebook Lives, videos, uh, maybe podcasts as well. I just FYI, I record. This is the exact same. I, the, I use the exact same mic for all of my Zoom calls, Facebook Live videos, YouTube videos, and podcast. The same exact mic. And I want to show you. Um, I want to show you how to get this mic. And I want to show you where not to get this mic. Okay, so go to apple.com and then search. Um, okay, go to apple.com and search. Uh, Ear, earbuds, I think it's called, earpods, earpods, okay. It doesn't matter which one, it's either earpods or earpods with lightning connector, it's the same thing. I, the way my computer works, I need this particular connection, but the one with the night lightning connector works as well. But here's the key, it's $20, it's directly from apple.com, okay. Do not, I repeat, do not buy it from Amazon, whoops, um, Apple earpods earbuds. Okay, let's let's search this. You're going to find a bunch of them that are not from Apple. And they might even charge the same amount of money. And this one is also not from Apple. Uh, this one is not Oh, visit the Apple store. This might be from Apple. But I'm, I'm like, if it's the same price, I would rather go directly from apple.com. Because I have purchased things that look exactly like this from Amazon. And it, it broke after like a month or the, the mic was clearly not as good quality as the ones that I keep using from apple.com. These are the ones that also come, they used to come with iPhone and iPad. I think by nowadays they come, they might come with the, the wireless ones. Uh, every time I hear people use the wireless ones, it just doesn't sound as good as this one. I mean, look again, this mic, why is this mic so good? Well, number one is from apple.com and they just had a really high quality mic in here. It's only 20 bucks. Number two, it's close to my mouth. I and mean, that people don't understand that mics sound better when it's optimal distance from the mouth. It can't be too close. Too close is, you know, doesn't sound, you know, is maybe too loud or too distorted or something. But there's an optimal, you know, distance from the mouth. So it's like a microphone. You put a microphone here, you bring a, buy an expensive $100 microphone, which is not expensive for mics. I'll show you next. It doesn't, it doesn't sound good because your mouth is too far away from the mic. Got to be close to the mic, but not too close, right? So if you are not, so I have tried, I have tried um, five, six different uh, mics, uh, headsets, right? So headset, headsets. Uh, I've I've tried, I've tried a bunch of these. Um, now I haven't tried this one, but I've tried headsets like this that are between twenty and fifty dollar ones. I've tried, I tried a bunch of them from Amazon. And still, after testing all the sound and mic, this $20 one from apple.com still wins, still is the best sound, right? And don't you agree? This is pretty good sound, right? I don't know. No, one, no one's ever complained about my sound before. Um, and this, this thing lasts, I, I, maybe because I, I never unplug it, plug it back in, I, just because I just keep my laptop here and this thing always plugged in. So maybe because of that, this lasts for years. This 20 thing that, that lasts for years. I never, I never unplug it, you know? Um, the upgrade though, if I were going to an even more, uh, advanced sound, better sound, more warmer sound. And, uh, if I were finally going to go pro, I haven't gone pro for 13 years. I have a, not to brag, but I have a very good business and, and I, you know, doing this exact thing. And I still use a $20 mic cause I found it's the best, but if I were to go, if I were to have what's called gear acquisition, gear acquisition syndrome, which is like, I got to get the right gear so I can finally get out there. Uh, you know, just be careful. That's a real thing. Gear acquisition syndrome. Got to get the right gear so I can feel confident getting out there. Be careful because you'll spend hundreds or thousands of dollars getting the right gear. And then you still might never get out there. So, but anyway, if I wanted to upgrade, I would go with something like a Sure. Sure, mic. Sure is a well-known um, brand for mics, and I would uh, I would just go on Amazon, search Sure mic, and I would probably go with something like this. It's going to be two to five hundred dollars, two to four hundred dollars probably for a, one that actually literally sounds better than this twenty dollar thing from Apple. So I honestly I, I would. This is a weird gap. Because I have tried Blue Yeti, I'm really clear. I have tried 
I have, I have not tried. I own one in my closet right now that I don't use. I've tried multiple times. I'm like, why is this one so popular? This is the one that my brother bought me. Okay, it's, it's been quite upgraded. He bought one for me 10 years ago, but it was $100 10 years ago. So it's probably the same. They just made, made it look differently now. Um, let me see if I can find the exact one I had. Well, now, now they all look different, because but mine was silver and it has this, it looked exactly like this, except it was silver and it was $100, okay? 10 years ago, it was $100. And I tested it several times with different settings on the Blue Yeti plugged into my computer, this one, $20 thing, it still sounds better. Or at least it sounded the same. I could not tell the difference as I was listening to my, my earphones. Like, okay, that was Blue Yeti. This is the Apple mic. And sometimes the Apple mic sounded better. So I'm like, what is going on, people? So there's some weird gap between this $20 Apple microphone and a Shure mic that's 250 or 225 plus. So that's really, I wanted you to be careful about that because that's anyway, that's my... That's my, that's my experience after all these years of, of testing all these different things. So if you have any other thoughts, comment, comment below. So, so one, one thing I have to say, you might spend $150 like on a buyer, Mike, B-E-Y-E-R or whatever, but it's like, all right, if you, if you, if you do the recording side by side, one with a $150 mic and one with this mic, and then you put it out to your audience with a blind test, can they tell which one is noticeably better is it noticeably better or is it just barely better that they can barely tell if it's like why spend 150 now you might say well why spend 150 because it looks more professional with a mic in your face that's true it looks more professional it doesn't look as professional for me using these cheap looking things people don't know this is the best right so um again i i would say either this or the sure mics which are the professional you know studio ones that are 225 plus is what I would go with, and uh, and it looks looks cool too. With and 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 then if you buy a sure mic, you probably buy a stand. I don't know. I, I haven't looked into the stuff because I don't know what comes with a stand. But the people I see who do it have like this this like stand that they can move out of the way, and that thing probably costs what at least a couple dozen dollars, right? So now you're looking at three hundred dollar investment for something that's like properly usable. Now to clarify, the Apple the the earpods that are wireless, wireless is always worse sound than wired. I mean, you, you, of course, because, you know, it doesn't transmit it as direct real time as this, you know, a cable does. So I, every time I've heard the, the Apple EarPods wireless Bluetooth ones, it's just sounds noticeably worse than the ones that are wired. So hope this helps.